So this is from the Kaiser Foundation survey and this is from 2021 information. The average premium for single coverage back in 2000 was $2,471. So it was just over $2,400, $200 a month for employee only coverage. And family coverage was just under $6,500. Today in 2022, and this was from 2021, for single coverage, $7,739 per year. Family, $22,221 per year for a family. This bar graph really shows how costs have accelerated over time. Now, I like to show this sometimes to employees to bring home the fact that the employers have absorbed the majority of the cost for employees year after year for a very long time. And some employees are very sheltered from this reality. And what I do is a lot of oftentimes is explain this to employees in a graph, something like this, and also provide benefit statements. So it's a summary of your total income, or they're also known as total income statements. It's a great way to communicate to your employees exactly what their income is. It takes into account not only their salary, but all of the benefits that you're paying for, your 401k contributions, taxes you may be paying on behalf of the employees, and so on. So it really captures all that information so that the employee can see and understand the dollar amount that the employer is investing in their employee. One of the reasons that I really wanted to make this video has to do with inflation. So I think next year we're going to see health insurance coverage inflation kick up. If you look at this graph, this shows you overall inflation, workers earnings in this light blue, overall inflation is in dark blue, and family premiums are in this orange yellow color. Here we have overall inflation. So since 2000, we've had relatively low inflation, you know, 3% in 2000, then it jumped up to 4% during the housing crisis in 2008, then it dropped to 0% in uh, 2009. I mean, I live, I vividly remember this and it felt like negative 50% inflation. I mean, we had some major deflationary factors going on uh, in that time. Then after 2010, we were floating around 1%, 2%, 1%, 2%. We had pretty low inflation for the last about 10 years. And as many of you know, this has now jumped up into the 8% range. So for the first time since the 1980s, healthcare inflation is below consumer price index inflation, which has not happened, uh, like I said, in, what is that, 40 years? Next year, this is gonna jump up to this 8%, 9% range, and the workers' earnings are probably gonna fall in you know 6% or so, but the overall increase in the medical inflation that we are seeing this year is at about 5%. Now, I think that inflation may be stabilizing. It depends on what the Fed does. I mean, it's hard to tell the future when so much about the market and unfortunately is driven by the Fed nowadays. It has nothing to do with the economy. Um, and it's hard to know what their future calculations are going to be, how they're going to do the reports if they end up changing the way they calculate inflation anymore or any less, and what they just got decide to include in that uh, changes from time to time, depending on what they want to show the public. But anyway, I digress. The average general deductible for single coverage. I think a lot of employees are very shocked at this number. I think a lot of employees are used to, and I don't blame them, they remember the days where they had a $200 or $500 deductible, and certainly, 
you know, many employers do still have low deductibles and God bless them. They're extremely employee centric and wonderful, my favorite clients in the whole entire world and are loving people and wonderful to work with. Love you so much. <laughs> But unfortunately, there's been some businesses that are not able to keep up with the cost increases we've seen year over year with health insurance. And it's understandable that as costs go up, you downgrade the plan. So you started out in 2006 with a $500 deductible and you got a 20% increase. So in order to keep costs at a 10% increase, you go to a $600 deductible and the next year you get a 10% increase. So you decide to jump to a $750 deductible. I mean, year over year, some of these companies in order to balance their books and, and stay in business, they're having to downgrade their plan. And you can see that here. And also you have to remember in 2010, this is when Obamacare came out and Obamacare really pigeonholed the industry to very set specific standards for platinum, gold, silver, and bronze coverage is what you see. You see four metal tiers. And what that did is it increased a lot of the costs of premiums. Uh, there were some groups where I had 75% increases. I had one, one particular person. I remember their costs went up over a hundred percent. And again, PTSD from those times. And not only did the cost go up, but a lot of times the people's deductibles went up because it was very difficult to match some of the older style plans to the newer style plans. So what I mean by that is, let's say I had a client that had a $1,000 deductible. Well, that first year that Obamacare came out, there were no $1,000 deductible plans. There were zero dollar deductible plans and there were two thousand dollar deductible plans so it was hard to put it was like either you pay a lot more and you go to a zero or you we you pay the same and you get a two thousand dollar deductible i mean these were the these were the conversations we were having so my point is that in 2010 and 2011 we saw people's deductibles go up significantly because of the additional costs and there's lots of reasons for that and if you want to Another video on all the reasons why costs went up with the Affordable Care Act. I am happy to break that down as well. Let me move myself again. You can see that there is a range here for single coverage of between $300 deductible and about a $600 deductible back in 2006. And over the years, this creeps up and up and up and up. And we're sitting at about a $1,400 and $1,700 deductible is the average in the United States. One more thing. If you're a client, thank you so much. I love you. I appreciate all the testimonials that have been rolling in. Also, if you're not a client, I have a link down below for an application questionnaire. Once completed, we can hop on the phone together, probably about a 30 minute phone call to see if I can help you. Again, I appreciate you hanging out until the end and I'll see you next time.